Okay. And uh, so that's what we did in Hawaii. We made acai bowls. And I okay. I was at the time not really passionate about health, eating healthy in general. It was it was a good opportunity. You know, they offered me, a, it was a management position. And mm-hmm. so I took it. And uh, I was in a transition season anyway, taking a year off before med school. So I was looking for something that wasn't too difficult, that was fun. So we, my view from, I was working on the second floor above a snorkel shop in a little 300 square foot shack and looking out at the Pacific Ocean. Sweet. And so I could see, you know, animal life and, and tourists. And it was just like, is this real life? Yep. Um, but we were slammed every day. People would come up, find us. We were the top rated trip, um, trip advisor experience on, on the big Island oh, because wow. of the ratings. And so people would find us, you know, digital through digital and, and they would come for breakfast and then they were always so confused what we were actually serving. They would come back for lunch. They would come before we closed and people <laughs> just would go nuts for, for this product that my, my partner had created or my partner for the owner, Derek okay. had cre- what he had created. So, uh, Derek didn't work very much. I, I managed the shop for him. He, he enjoyed surfing and okay. uh, exploring the Island Just and living the high life, living the high life. Okay. He built a, he built a great, very simple, but very efficient system. Okay. And for, the business side and the product side. So he made it so easy. Like we could do it, you know, a monkey could do it, yep. uh, to his credit. So I was just responsible for making sure people showed up to work and didn't go surf with him. Essentially. Okay. So one day this was about two months in the only time I ever worked with Derek, he was covering a shift for me for an employee that was sick. And I, uh, I think I told you I was an early adopter to Dropbox and I, signed up a lot of friends and I have a lot of, uh, you know, free, free storage on there. And the vice president of Dropbox comes in with her husband and their best friends are vacationing. When is this roughly? This is 2012. Okay. Okay. So So cloud storage is early at this point. Yeah. But Dropbox is even a big name at this point. They are, especially in certain circles, maybe not as mainstream. Like, okay. My, a lot of my friends and family didn't know who Dropbox was, okay. but you're right. Big deal. They yep. hired her out of Facebook. Wow. She was the first female engineer at Facebook. That's cool. So Ruchi and her husband come in with two friends and, uh, I'm on top of my game at this point. So she's, she's asking me, she, what is this? And well, you know, what about this? And what do you recommend? And you better not be wrong because if you're wrong, I'm, you know, I'm bringing it back and I want to refund. And I'm like, okay. trust me, you're going to love it. Like, I've never seen a single person come back not totally amazed at what we were doing. So <laughs> I can speak pretty confidently. Yep. And I'm um, like, I recommended what she needed to get, what she needed to add to it. And, and I'm like, you're going to love this. Trust me. And so me, me and the owner make it. I, at this point, I don't know who she is. Oh, okay. I don't recognize okay. her. Gotcha. Uh, she <laughs> could have broken the record for the fastest consumption of an acai bowl in the history of this company, because I promise you, I did not turn around before she was bringing back an empty bowl that looked like it had been licked clean. <laughs> and well, so what does it, what does this look like? So, so it's the bowl a, that she would have had in front of her, yeah. what would that look like? What's so in there? dark, dark purple base that looks like okay. ice cream. Oh, fascinating. Very dark purple okay. swirled around the outside, very thick consistency and granola in the middle fresh fruit on top, some dry superfood toppings. Her bowl Ooh. had um, her bowl had spirulina, which is a blue green algae okay. in the base, granola, bananas, strawberries, blueberries and hemp seed. Oh my god. And gosh. then a local Where, can, Hawaiian can we get those honey. around here somewhere? Dude, I I was the first uh, first acai bowl uh, company in Tennessee about 3 years ago. So that's my that's my So you're making them here. It's my bread and butter. Oh, okay. Do you have a re- okay? We're getting off. We're getting way stores. off track here, but um, so you do have retail stores here. Uh-huh. What is that company called? The Franklin Juice Company. Oh, got so it. So we have two okay. retail stores, and then Honest Coffee Roasters in Huntsville sells them. I see. As well. Okay. All right. So, I didn't know you could get acai bowls. You said the Franklin Juice Company. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Eighty-six percent of our business. Really? We'll do about eight hundred on a on a weekend day. Wow, eight hundred bowls. Wow. Mm-hmm. So I've never had 
one in my entire life. Oh man! So I'm gonna I'm gonna be Can't. visiting and trying this. <laughs> you need to you need to not just fantastic. visit, but let me come let me come do the experience. Let's do that. That'll I would be more enjoy fun. that. That would be I'll fantastic. I'll create it for you. Okay, back to the story. So so she brings this bowl back, and it's licked literally licked clean. And before she says anything, I realize okay, she's handing me the bowl. She's handing me the bowl, and in in her right hand, in her left hand, is a business card. Okay. Now, uh, Kent, I had a stack of business cards next to the register because I'm not exaggerating every single day. Someone would say, I want to do this in this state. Can you do this in this state? Please come to this state. I will help you in this state. Wow. There was no shortage of obviously Hawaiian tourists, you know, Mm -hmm. there there's a, an affluence Mm -hmm. and a, you know, you know, they've probably done well to be able to see an opportunity when it's presented. Sure. So I had a stack that, and, and I would, using, um, you know, kind of some discernment. Some of them made it to the owner. Some of them didn't. Okay. So he's there with me. She doesn't okay. know that she doesn't. So she hands it back to me and says, um, I want to open one of these in San Francisco. And I'm used to hearing this. So I start to do my normal spiel like, Oh great. I'll make sure that we get, you know, get you processed to whatever. Yeah. And I, and I'm like, have an out of body experience when I see VP Dropbox. <laughs> and I said, I said, uh, are you the vice president of Dropbox? I, I, I said, are you the vice president of Dropbox? And she says, yes. <laughs> and I said, hang on. And so I, I take like four steps over to Derek, who's blending over here for me. And, uh, I'm like, Derek, you need to go talk to this lady. And so he, he steps out and I, I, you know, that was at the end of the day, I cleaned up the store. They ended up spending about three hours together and on the spot. Yeah. So she came in just to eat an acai, a, just eat bowl, an acai and bowl, wound yeah. up staying there for three hours talking mm-hmm. about this with mm-hmm. Brett uh, with or Derek. With, with Derek. Downstairs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, long story short, they go out to San Francisco. Derek's like, okay, Brett, hold down the fort. So I, I do my thing and he's calling and texting me, oh, uh, dude. I'm at, I'm at Mark Zuckerberg's house We're I'm pitching to, they want to do one in the Facebook headquarters. Like I'm, so he's texting me these updates and I'm like, this is awesome. But wait a second. I'm a manager. I'm here. <laughs> what? Okay. So fast forward nine months, Derek, I tell Derek that I'm going home mm. to Nashville and that okay. I want to franchise. And so I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs and he's like, Brett, uh, just go do it. I'm like, mm. We're not in a position to franchise. Just go do it. Okay. And I'm still thinking, no, like this brand and her and I want to be connected. Yep. And so I'm still like bugging him the whole time I'm back. And so finally he's like, dude, we're just not ready. Just go do it. Mm -hmm. So he was so gracious to let me use all of the recipes, the sourcing. Part of the reason they were that they did such a great job was they had a source that was really top notch acai. And, um, and then the process, of course. And so I, hmm. I was like, well, uh, I mean, I guess I'll do it. Nobody knows what acai is here, but yep. nobody really knew there either. Okay. So uh, I opened a little store and we started out selling a lot of juice. And then all of a sudden, you know, six months later, juice and acai are switching. Uh, and now we're, we're pretty much an acai company. 